Hello guys and welcome to BBM Pulsers. In this video I'd like to show you how I make this coil. Many of you have been asking how it's made. So um, to make this coil I use 14 gauge copper magnet wire. Outside diameter of here is 3 inch, inside is 1 inch, thickness is 5 eighths. So to make this coil, I use um, these two pieces from the speakers and I cut them a little bit. So one side is 5 eighths here thickness. And then I use this cheap drill which I have access straight to the motor here and then this wire is going to the motor controller this is a DC motor controller left and right speed with a variable uh, variable speed here so it's a basically a slide resistor here and I installed one spring that pulls it up and another spring that's pulling it down and then I have made this simple paddle which I push with my leg to make it twist. Also I made this wire dispenser by the way that's how you get the wire it comes in this roll and this dispenser works very well so I bring the wire up here then I insert it into here and this is the end of the wire I made a hole in the center of the bolt make it easy so each layer um, I insulate between each other also I glue put the glue um, with <clears throat> material this is actually tape from a pharmacy Johnson & Johnson company made in China this is uh, like a bandage tape works very well so what I do is I wind one one layer and then I measure how much tape I need just to cover that layer and then once I measure how much tape I need I use this flex at 90 and I put it in a syringes here then I'll squeeze out just enough for this layer for this layer then I take this and I submerge it into here and I squeeze it all the excess just make it just enough so it's soaked and then I install it over here over each layer and then I continue 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 all the way until it's finished all the way to the top by that time it's gonna be 15 layers um, then I'll wait in about 30 minutes and I'll disassemble it and take a coil out and so I so I'll get this coil this is gonna be a north side this is gonna be a south side this wire here is the wire that's coming out from here from the center the next step what I do <clears throat> is I will attach it to the bottom plate the bottom plate is from printed circuit board this one is 0.8 millimeter thick I'll send it and then I'll use this high temperature gasket maker and I'll put a little bit in the center here and I'll put it on the north side here then I'll place it over and I'll squeeze it, push it on the top and um, anything in the center 
I'll remove all the excess from the center basically like that I'll leave a little bit in there but everything else is removed also as you see here on the sides here some of the red silicone came out but that's okay later on I will remove it just like in this coil here it's all been cleaned up so once I silicone the bottom plate to the bo to the bo bottom the north side I'll squeeze it and I'll let it dry for another uh, for 24 hours or so after drying I will add, I will add this white heat rings here and I will pre-make this south pole indicator this is a thermal switch that will go here on the side and this south pole indicator is going to go inside here and then I'll fill it with the flexit 90 inside there and once it's all complete it will look like this also I will attach a little bit of glue here just to make sure it's not moving as I submerge it make it make the mold over it as far as connections I have uh, wires from my coil are here then I have wires from thermal switch that will connect to the south pole indicator here and I'll have total of four wires two wires that will feed the coil high voltage wires and two wires to feed south pole indicator also to take out a signal back from the coil into the unit and to shut off a high voltage circuit anytime the coil gets hot this this is the thermal switch that measures the temperature all right guys hopefully this cleared out some of your questions how i make these coils also the very last layer i added flex 90 here to hold it all together the last last layer These pieces you get from 6x9 uh, rear speakers. So if you go to junkyard, you can find these pieces here. So this is 1 inch, this is 3 inch. You're gonna have to drill a hole right in the center. And you're gonna need to find a bolt with a nut. But also a cheap drill will do just fine alrighty guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next one